This problem and all other practice problems for Calc 2 here at Rutgers can be found in Sarai Studies. A link is in the description box below. Does the following series converge or diverge? Well, because I see this whole thing to the nth power, I know that if I nth root it, it's going to cancel out. So the test that's going to make sense to do or try is the root test. Because the rule for the root test is based on the limit as it approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of your sequence. And that's equal to a limit, or at Rutgers we call it rho, even though it's a literal p, we pronounce it as rho. And then the rules are the same exact as the ratio test. If rho is less than one, rho is greater than one, rho is equal to one then this series is going to converge absolutely diverge or the test is just inconclusive meaning try another test so we're going to take the limit as it approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of our sequence which is this right here because n is equal to one that means all of the terms in our series are going to be greater than or equal to one basically they're going to be positive and so therefore this is already a positive series so adding the absolute value really does nothing because the absolute value of something that's already positive is still positive so this is the absolute value of that the same thing and now i know that this is an n i take the nth root these cancel out and i'm just left with a sequence this is a rational fraction so i can divide every term in the fraction by the term with the largest power in the denominator which is n to the first power so i'm going to divide everything by n this cancels out to be four this cancels out to be three we're left with four plus three over n three minus five over n when we plug in infinity one whole divided into infinitely small pieces gets infinitely smaller so 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 small it becomes zero but it doesn't just have to be one it could be three holes it could be five holes doesn't matter any constant divided by infinity when it comes to a limit goes to zero that becomes four over three if you don't have a good number sense you can literally take four divided by three you know it has to go in at least one time so you know it's going to have to be greater than one so because rho is greater than one that means that this series diverges so for a conclusion since and then we write the original limit is equal to four thirds which is greater than one the root test implies that the given series diverges so this is really both the yellow and the pink stuff because if the series with absolute value diverges then that means that the series without absolute value will also diverge